Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Ashish Sahajpal, Assistant Professor from University Business School, Punjab University Regional Center, Ludhiana. Today, we are going to discuss about the module Tools for Business Support System under the paper Management Information System. After completing this module, the students will be able to understand the concept of Business Support System, understand the role of business support system in management information system, understand the basic component of business support system, analyze the interdependence between the organization and information systems, overview of various components comprising the information technology infrastructure ecosystem. From a technical perspective, an information system collects, stores and disseminates information that it captures from an organization environment and internal operations. It supports organizational functions and decision making, communication, coordination, control, analysis and visualization. Information systems transfer raw data into a useful information through through basic activities that is input, processing and output. A business perspective suggests an information systems provide a solution to a problem of or challenge facing a firm and represents a combination of management, organization and technology elements. The management dimensions of information system evolves issues such as leadership, strategy and management behavior. The technology dimension consists of computer hardware, software, data management technology, networking, telecommunication technology, including the internet. Business support systems are a collective term for the integrated solution used to support customers. The term encompasses tools for business support software for billing and charging, customer management product design and management, sales and marketing, order, activation and corresponding hardware that lays the infrastructural requirements. A business support system is a group of business elements used in networking to help service providers gain customer insight, compile real-time subscription and introduce new revenue generation services. A BSS is critical because it helps to support and extend operations to enhance business services with a convergent, integrated and synchronized business environment. A good BSS provides control and tailored schedule to service provider, which facilitates the implementation of required change without impacting customer satisfaction. A well-designed BSS helps an enterprise stay ahead of the competition by providing the flexibility to adopt to constantly changing marketplace. The BSS helps an enterprise or organization to secure revenue and quality while supporting many business functions including marketing, product offering, sales, contracting, and delivery of goods and services. A BSS provides a set of tools to transform assets such as content and communication networks into commercial offerings and ultimately revenue. Every business is unique with a unique environment and consequently a unique BSS. The fundamental task of BSS is accurate and synchronized control and sharing of business assets across organization. The BSS handles the full life cycle for many enterprises assets, including creation, design, implementation, deployment, operation, analysis, update, improvement, and termination. Let us throw some light onto the role of business support system to have the right product or service delivered to the right people in the right time frame requires the organization 
all of the moving parts of business into one holistic all encompassing systems that consistently delivers that product or service with excellence business support functions are key enabler to an organizational success but they are an overhead and their activities need to be aligned to support the efficient and effective delivery of organizational goals the business support system activities typically includes customer order management customer data management billing and rating and b2b that is business to business and business to consumer services the following figure basically explains the primary business support system areas that is product management revenue management customer management and fulfillment management bss deals with the taking of orders payment issues revenues etc it supports four processes product management order management revenue management and customer management the product management supports product development the sales and management of products offers and bundles to businesses and mass market customer product management regularly includes offering cross product discounts appropriate pricing and managing how products relate to one another customer management service provider requires a single view of the customer and regularly need to support complex hierarchies across the customer facing application that is customer relationship management customer management also covers requirement for partner management and 24/7 web based customer self service customer management can also be thought of as full fledged customer relationship management system implemented to help customer care agents handle the customer in better and more informed manner looking at the revenue management it focuses on billing charging and settlement it can handle any combination of oss services products and offers bss revenue management supports oss order provisioning and often partner settlement billing is an integral function offered by bss system and is not under the preview of oss and now we shall look upon the order management order management encompasses four areas order decomposition details the rules for decomposing a sales order into multiple work order of serve or service orders order orchestration is an objective application which is used to precisely manage process and handle their customer order across a multiple fulfillment and order placement network order status management as a beginning of assurance is normally associated with oss although bss is often the business driver for fulfillment management and order provisioning okay let us now focus on building a strong business support system a strong business support system and operation support system ensures functions such as sales marketing billing and inventory service delivery and end consumer management oss runs effectively oss must be engineered customized and integrated to meet the need of end network operators today bigger challenge before operator is to integrate dedicated oss acquired for each service in order to keep complexity and cost down and in addition keep pace with the changing network technology standards and compliance requirements we should look upon the components of business information system thinking only of hardware and software when we think of an information system is incomplete there is another component of the triangle that should be considered and that's the people side or persuader the components of 
business information system is illustrated in the following figure. The information process comprises the input, processing, output and feedback processes. Importantly, the feedback process tends to be the most overlooked one. It is the hardware input and output and the software that is processing that receives the most attention. With those two entities, there is a computer literacy. The persuader side of the triangle completes the feedback loop and marks information literacy. An information system differs from the other kinds of to monitor documents, the operations of other system, which we can call a target system. An information system cannot exist without such a target system. Every reactive system will have a subsystem that can be considered an information system whose objective is to monitor and control such a reactive system. The component of information system will formulate a system which will help us to gather the required information for making decision in various levels of management. Data Input that the system takes to produce information, data management technology consists of software governing the organization of data on physical storage media. On the other hand, hardware, it is the physical equipment used for input processing and output activities in an information system. It consists of the following, that is computers of various size and shape including mobile, handheld devices, various input, output and storage devices and telecommunication devices that link the computers together. Computer itself and its peripheral equipment inputs, outputs, storage devices includes data communication. These comprise, these comprise machines as well as media. Looking at the software component, it consists of the detailed programmed instruction that control and coordinate the computer hardware component in an information system. Sets of instructions that tell the computer how to input, process, output and store data. Software platform consists of operating systems, programs as well as application software on which the information system shall be built upon. Then is what we talk about is communication networks. Hardware and software specializing in transmission and reception of electronic data. Networking and telecommunication technology consist of both physical devices and software, links the various pieces of hardware and transfers data from one physical location to another. Computers and communication equipment can be connected in network for sharing voice, data, images, sound and videos. A network links two or more computer to share data or resources such as printer. Defining a World Wide Web A service provider by the internet that uses universally accepted standard for storing, retrieving, formatting and displaying information in a page format onto the internet. Web page consists text, graphics, animation, sound and video and are linked to other web pages direct to related pages to find additional information and links to another location on the web. The web can serve as the foundation for new kind of information system. The more focus is the people information system professional and user who design construct operate and maintain information system these refer to the end user of information system as well as various technical and managerial specialist and then is what we talk about is the procedures rules to process data that is priority in running different application security measures and routines for malfunctioning information system etc. Every information system is equipped with the following resources. The goal of information system can be easily achieved 
by employing these resources to their optimum level by keeping in view that the purpose of using information system with the purpose of using information system in an organization now we will be looking upon the interdependence between organization and information system information systems and technologies are some of the most important tools available to manager for achieving high level of efficiency and productivity in business operations especially when coupled with changes in business practices and management behavior in contemporary system there is a growing interdependence between a firm's information system and its business capabilities changes in strategy rules and business processes increasingly require change in hardware software databases and telecommunications often what the organization should like to do depends on what its system will permit it to do the below figure it represents a organization and information system computing platform used to provide computing service that connect employees customer and services into a coherent digital environment includes large mainframes mid-range computers desktop and laptop computers and mobile hand devices telecommunication services that provides data voice and video connectivity to employees customer and suppliers data management services that store and manage corporate data and provides capabilities for analyzing the data the data management system is software that permits an organization to centralize data manage them efficiently and provide access to the stored data by application program the dbms act as an interface between application programs and the physical data files when the application program calls for a data item such as gross pay the dbms finds these item in the database and represent it to the application program the rapid application development tools these tools makes use of gui interface provided by operating system and help user in the market the market trends signal development of software building to design their screens and input formats menus and output reports application software service that provides enterprise wide capabilities such as enterprise resource planning customer relationship management supply chain management and knowledge management system that are shared by all business units application server software handles all the application operations between a user and an organization backend business system the application server may reside on the same computer as the web server or on its other dedicated computer case case tool the computer aided software engineering tool case helps the designer to have a well defined and systematic approach in their efforts with facilities to store the results for modification and iteration they help mapping the users requirement to machine understandable design object oriented methodology is used for designing and development of computer system adoption of this methodology gains wider acceptance due to lack of flexibility in traditional structured methodology for development this technology is now used in almost all fields of application development such as information engineering rad tools cas tools neural network and parallel computing etc physical facility management services that develop and manage the physical installation required for computing telecommunication and data management services it management services that plan and develop the infrastructure 
coordinate with the business units for IT services, manage accounting for IT expenditure and provides the project management services. Information technology standard services that provide the firm and its business units with policies that determine which information technology will be used when and how. The information technology education services that provides training in a system used to employees and offer manager training in how to plan for and manage IT investment. The IT research and development services that provides the firm with research on potential future IT projects and investments that would help the firm differentiate itself in the marketplace. Cloud computing refers to a model of computing that provides access to a shared pool of computing resources that is computers, storage, application and services over a network, often the internet. Auditing involves taking stock of hardware, software, procedures and data at regular intervals. With regards to software and data, auditing can be carried automatically with an appropriate program. Auditing software works by scanning the hard disk driver of computers, terminals and servers attached to the network. As each hard disk gets scanned, the names of any programs found are added to a log. This log can be prepared to a list of programs that are legitimately owned by the organization. This makes it simple to determine the location of any unauthorized program. Auditing programs are used to keeping track of software licenses and allow companies to ensure that they are operating within terms of their license agreement. Okay, dear friends, now let us take a case study of Tesco that how information system forms backbone of an organization. Founded in 1990 in London, Tesco is a British-based international grocery and journal merchandising retail chain. It is the largest Britisher retailer by both global sales and domestic market share. Originally specializing in food and drinks, it has diversified into areas such as clothing, consumer electronics, financial services, telecom, home, health, and car insurance, internet services, and software. Tesco's UK stores are divided in six formats, differentiated by size and the range of products sold. Tesco extra stores are large, mainly out of town supermarkets that stocks nearly all of Tesco product range. Tesco supermarkets are standard large supermarkets stocking grocery and a much smaller range of non-food goods than extra stores. Tesco metro stores are sized between Tesco supermarkets or super stores and Tesco express stores. They are mainly located in city center and on the high streets of small towns. Tesco express stores are neighborhood convenience stores stocking mainly food. In addition, Tesco has a banking arm called Tesco Personal Finance, operates as an ISP. Mobile phones, home phones and VOIP businesses sells petrol and diesels at their own petrol station and offer a, a loyalty card schemes to customers. The multiple ways in which Tesco utilizes information systems to support business can be exhaustively listed. FRID systems, CCT, TV surveillance, order processing systems, scheduling systems, handheld devices, financials, HR software, communication technologies to connect stores, e-commerce and e-business systems, supply chain systems, information technology, used in Tesco to support their loyalty cards, car insurance policy, coating systems. Tesco has used electronic data interchange with its major suppliers, chip and pin system. Tesco personal finance for loan application handling 
food labeling system workforce scheduling system computer systems are used in variety of ways in the modern large supermarkets from stock control to maintaining temperature in fridge and freezers computers are used to control the stock and are connected to the checkout located at each checkout is an electronic point of sale this electronic point of sale still comprises a keyboard a digital display a scanner which reads barcode a set of scales a printer a credit debit card reader and a till drawer each till has its own base to which all of the above is attached it is the base unit which is connected by cables to the to the branch computer in the supermarket system office a branch computer sends the details of every individual sale to the main computer at the head office stores are also big users of email the company also uses computers for staff recruitment potential applicants complete an application form over the internet which is vetted by head office other system includes pay at pump control system customer relationship management etc all these required infrastructure that can be shared amongst information system to support business systems let us now focus on information technology infrastructure ecosystem there are seven major components that must be coordinated to provide the firm with a coherent information technology infrastructure these component constitute investments that must be coordinated with one another to provide the firm with coherent infrastructure the following diagram it represents the it infrastructure ecosystem the operating system an operating system os is an interface between computer user and computer hardware an operating system is software which performs all the basic tasks like file management memory management process management handling input and output and controlling peripheral devices such as disk drives and printers enterprise database management software is responsible for organizing and managing firm's data so that they can be efficiently accessed and used with the amount of new digital information in the world growing so rapidly the market for digital data storage devices has been growing at more than 15% annually networking telecommunication platform the leading networking hardware providers are cisco alcatel nortel and juniper networks telecommunication platforms are typically provided by telecommunication telephone service companies that offer voice and data connectivity wide area networking wireless services and internet access the other component what we talk about is internet platform internet platform overlap with and must relate to the firms journal networking infrastructure and hardware and software platform a web hosting service maintains a large web servers or series of servers and provides free paying subscriber with space to maintain their websites consulting and system integrated services software integration means ensuring the new infrastructure works with the firm's older legacy system and ensuring the new elements of infrastructure work with the one with one another legacy system are generally older transaction processing system created for mainframe computers that continue to be used to avoid the high cost of replacing or redesigning them even a large firm does not have the staff the skill the budget or the necessary experience to deploy and maintain its entire information technology infrastructure 
implementing a new infrastructure requires significant changes in business processes and procedures training and education and software integration leading consulting firms providing this expertise include accenture ibm global services ip enterprise services infosys and wipro technologies so students let's now summarize what we have learned in this module the bss handles the full life cycle for many enterprise assets including creation design implementation deployment operation analysis update improvement and termination the duration of different business assets varies greatly as does the volume of information handled the bss delivers competitive time to market time to consumer and business agility to pursue new business models on demand with complex business to business value network and low total cost of ownership the bss is built for continuous evolution of business models putting the enterprise in the driver seat deciding the way forward in order to obtain meaningful value from information system organization must support their technology investment with appropriate complementary investments in organizations and management these complementary assets include new business models and business processes supportive organizational culture management behavior appropriate technology standard regulation and law new information technology investments are unlikely to produce high return unless businesses make the appropriate managerial and operational changes to support the technology what at first appears to be a simple process fulfilling an order turns out to be a very complicated series of business processes that required the close coordination of major functional groups in a firm moreover to efficiently perform all these steps in the order fulfillment process requires a great deal of information the required information must flow rapidly both within firm from one decision maker to another with business partners such as delivery firm and with customer computer based information systems make it possible thank you